Hello there, this is Hans Forschner with Navcon Engineering. I have this uh, video here in terms of uh, a new feature in Sound Plan version 8 that allows uh, the saving of group noise maps and spectral, con uh, spectral contour maps for the uh, processing of grid noise maps. So I want to just do a quick introduction on that. So here we, uh, let me show you the, um, the geometry. So this is like a little construction project. And uh, here we have uh, the 3D view of this whole thing. Um, so here we have a couple of sources. Uh, we have some uh, barriers and berms. Uh, we have a couple of point sources and a line source here. So the um, idea of the, uh, this new feature is that you can uh, visualize the contribution besides looking at the overall level that you can also look at uh, from a frequency by frequency basis, uh, how is the propagation going, or on a basis of groups that you can define groups and say, okay, for this group, for example, the crusher, uh, how much, uh, how does the sound propagate from the crusher? So like with every source, uh, starting from road, rail, to point line area sources, you can assign groups. So here we have the group selection uh, you can uh, add with the plus and the minus, you can remove, and then here with the arrow, you can edit or change the group description. Uh, so here we have, at this point, uh, we have a uh, front-end loader. Uh, so that's this uh, line source here. We have a crusher, and then we have three backhoes that are in this construction area. All right. So, so this is the setup in terms of the geometry. You have your sources, you have your groups. So let me save this. And um, the next step is the calculation. So let me show you these two calculations right here. In terms of the setup, uh, we have uh, the grid noise map settings. And here under the grid noise map settings, you see at the very bottom results of single frequencies. And um, so this will save, in addition to the uh, overall noise levels for the assessment, CNAL, LAQ, day, night, evening, it will also save away the spectral information for each of these time assessments. Um, so that's this calculation. And uh, the next calculation is the group calculation. So let me delete this here for right now and set up the group results. Uh, because there's something special here, you can select which groups you want to save away. So these are like some of the defaults. So if you haven't def defined any groups for the roads, it uses all the roads for the default, all the industrial noise sources for the default. Or if you have specific group names, you can select the group names that you want to select and save away in this calculation. So I have these selected, all the constructions one. I click OK. And now we just rerun this calculation. Uh, so the uh, spectral calculation is the first one. So here we can go in the graphics. So it's fairly fast. Um, so let me go back to the run file. And actually, we can just leave it in the background and uh, continue in the graphics. So here we go into the graphics. And so here we have the spectral map uh, already showing. Um, let me update the map when this is uh, finished with the calculation. So reload the map data. And yep, it's not quite finished yet. So let me give it some time. In the meantime, let me show you kind of like how you select the information. So just like with any other maps, you go into the File Selection Manager, you right-click File Selection Manager, and then here we have the results, in this case a grid noise map results. And if I right-click on that, we can select what frequency we want to, uh, we choose to, to present. So in this case, it's the 63 hertz frequency that we're interested in. And in this case, uh, for the CNEL, but you could also look at the LAQ evening all night. So it's up to you kind of which frequency you want to look at or which assessment you want to look at. So I'll keep it at the CNEL value and we'll click OK. And let me just refresh all the maps. 
So you can do that for all the maps, and then so here we have 500 hertz, one kilohertz, and the overall. The overall is just basically a uh, option, just like the, the frequency. So here we have the sum level, the summation of all frequencies. In this case, from 25 hertz to 20 kilohertz. All right. So this here is the again the spectral uh, maps. Um, Again, a good way of presenting to your client how the sound propagates, how sound uh, propagation is affected by shielding of buildings, barriers, berms, how the frequencies may be affected due to air absorption. So at higher frequency you have more air absorption and then the sound doesn't travel as much. And um, then again, uh, the overall to kind of show the overall impact. So we can do that the same way for the groups. So let me put in the groups. Let me save that. So here we have, again, in, uh, for the simplicity, just for groups, we have the crusher, we have the backhoe, the front end loader, and the overall. Overall, again, represents all sources, all groups. Uh, so here is the sum level. And then we have uh, the crusher right here. All right. So again, you can uh, present how the uh, propagation differs from source to source. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.